Hello everyone. So yesterday, Japan declared their fourth COVID of COVID nineteen state of emergency, and they went too far. They banned spectators for the twenty twenty one Tokyo Olympics. That is gonna lose the Olympics one point seven billion dollars although canceling the games would have lost them 17 billion dollars there isn't gonna even be an opening torch ceremony they gotta tone that down to be safe because of COVID-19 um there might be an exception for the first lady though we we just don't know yet Cause she was gonna go down there to visit the games, uh, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but this is ridiculous, man. First, you postponed them a year. Second, you banned spectators. That is insane. Spectators should be allowed in all Olympic games no matter what. They say, oh, there's a COVID crisis over in Japan because less than a quarter of the population is at least partially vaccinated. Like. Come on. Twenty-five percent of Japan at least partially vaccinated. That is not an excuse. That is not an excuse. You know, we, we need the Olympics. We we really need the Olympics. We we really do. You know. Spectators have been allowed to the Olympics for decades before it could even be covered on TV. And I imagine spectators were allowed at the old Olympics back in Greek days, too. Uh, but, yeah, we need spectators of the Olympics, gosh darn it, they shouldn't be bad, the Olympics are the world's games, that is the one event that the entire world can enjoy, my goodness gosh, spectators need to be in there, you're losing over a billion dollars. So I guess, um, uh, midnight, Wednesday night, um, early Thursday morning, um, the search and rescue operation, uh, in Surfside, Florida, for the condo collapse, uh, changed to a recovery, uh, effort. It turned into a search and rescue uh, mission to a recovery mission, which, yeah, that's just sad for, for loved ones to realize that they're gone. I mean, that building collapsed over two weeks ago, so any survivors, if there are any survivors in that pile, it is going to be a miracle. There is no food under there, there is no water under there, as far as I am aware, so, for the, if anyone could survive two weeks under there without food or water, it's a miracle. I don't think anyone was pulled out alive since about six hours after the collapse. I mean, that was a 12, that, I, that was a tall building. Like 12 stories or something. So, yeah. Yeah, it's obviously going to take a while to recover. Um... Last time I counted, I think 64 were confirmed dead, and 76 were unaccounted for. Yeah, yeah, that is just, that is sad. Um, what else is going on? Oh, yeah, yeah, over an 80 day. Did not take the uh, president's assassination lightly. They automatically began the, like one of the toughest uh, manhunts uh, in Haiti. They really did. Um, they found about a dozen people who could be involved with uh, his assassination. I think there was a hit squad of about two dozen people who showed up to his house that night to assassinate the president and murdered the first lady of Haiti. Or not murder, but injure. 
assassinate the president of Haiti and injure the the first lady of Haiti. She only got three bullets, and their daughter was home at the time of the attack too, but she hid in a room and was able to escape, so she came out uninjured. She obviously was, you know, shaken, but she wasn't injured. Um, and yeah, the Haiti police, they killed seven people, and they arrested six more. Um, in connection to the assassination of Jovenel Moyes. Uh, what else is going on in this world? Oh, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of pretty spear speculation lately. Uh, she recently posted a photo of her back. Um, but her tattoos were gone. She had a tattoo on the back of her neck right here. Lower neck. Uh, and, uh, and she also had a tattoo on her lower back. Um, and they didn't show up in the picture she recently took. Many are speculating, you know, that's an old picture, or, you know, many are speculating that that's not even Britney. And that's what I think. I don't think Britney's there. I don't know who that is. I don't know why Britney posted it. But that is not Britney that she posted. She posted someone else. That's for sure. Who? I don't know. But it, it's not Britney. We would see the tattoos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um... What else is going on in this world? Um. Oh, yeah. Biden is continuing his door to door vaccination effort because, oh, Delta variants, the common strain, the dominant strain of COVID 19, and, 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 you know, everybody needs to get vaccinated. And, uh, according. You know, to recent numbers, 25 million Americans only have one dose, and 140 million are unvaccinated. I am one of those 140 million, and I intend on staying unvaccinated. You know, I don't want this vaccine, darn it, because they're just going to give you a booster shot for Delta, and then Pfizer is uh, updating their vaccine. They're, they're ramping up their vaccine. They're making new vaccines for, for Delta. Goodness, gosh, have we lost our minds? Rushing, you know, this is exactly what I'm talking about. They didn't make a strong enough vaccine in the first place to fight against these variants. So now they're rushing to manufacture new vaccines so that way we can fight against these variants. And, and yeah. Just absurd. It's just the consequences of not thinking in the long run, not making a good vaccine to start with. Absolutely irresponsible on Pfizer's part and Moderna's part and J&J's part. Anyway, subscribe to my channel. I have got to go now. Bye.